Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have quite a large, a large unboxing. So as you saw in the thumbnail, I right now have three little packages to open for you. Some of them are not little. Um, and then I'm probably gonna have either one or two more clips after this from me in a later day. Um, because I have two other packages coming and I don't know if they will be here on the same day. Um, and so anyways, if you are an OG watcher, you know what this space is. <laughs> this is the apartment attached to my parents' garage and I'm with them for the weekend. So that's how I got all these packages at once. Well, one I've had for like a week or so and I haven't really delved into it. Um, and the other two I have not opened yet. So I'm very blessed. All of these packages were sent to me by lovely friends and viewers. So thank you all so much. The later packages uh, will be a rep package and then a order I've been waiting months for. So um, we're gonna leave it at these three packages for now. And then we'll jump to later Avery to open the later ones after I open these. First, I wanna open up this. Um, I have an inkling who it's from because she said that there was gonna be something for me um, and she did not have to send me anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh, this is from Carrie from Book for Romance. I'm linking her down below, I love her. I recently met her in person at um, a, a Wanderlust and um, she's amazing. She's so sweet, I love her. Anyway, she sent me this book. <laughs> I honestly thought there was like two books in there because of how thick the package was, but no. This is um, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. I know that Carrie loves Mariana Zapata and we talked on that trip how I haven't read any of her books yet. And I think this is her favorite. That one or Culty, I can't remember. Um, but I assume it's this one because she sent this one to me. So I'm about to go text Carrie and say, Thank you to her. I am so excited to see her again next year. We're gonna be going to Book Bonanza and I'm feeling blessed, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. This was so, so, so sweet. Like, look how also, look how thick this book is. <laughs> I don't know much about this book. Um, I don't wanna know much going into it. I know that's when my friends love Mariana Zapata and I wanna go into her books blind because I know they're slow burn. I assume it's football because of the football helmet and that's all I know. So I gotta go text Carrie. So thank you so much Carrie if you're watching this. I love you. Oh, by the way, it was a belated birthday present. That's why she sent it to me, which is so sweet. She did not have to do that. Okay, so this is the other package. I do not know what is in here. A lovely subscriber of mine, I believe her name is Maya. Please let me know if I mispronounce your name, girl. I do not want to do that. Um, but she and I have been messaging on Instagram quite often and uh, like we chat about chronic illnesses and all that jazz and she was like, I really wanna send you, send you something, so give me your address. And I was like, uh, okay, thank you, you didn't have to do that. And so she sent me an entire box. This is probably like the biggest box I've ever <laughs> received um, from a subscriber from a friend. Like this is special and it's all the way from Canada. Like she paid Canadian, like international shipping for me. Like girl, you did not have to do that. So I'm excited to see what is in here. I think she was getting rid of some books and wanted to send some of them my way. And I was like, by all means, yes, please. Oh, I see a bunch of mass markets. Oh, we have a little, oh my gosh, we have little goodies in here too. Okay, um, we have this cute little letter that I'm going to open. I'm gonna read this off camera because it's a lot and I think it might make me cry. <laughs> that was so sweet. Okay, I'm linking her Instagram down below. She is the sweetest ever, and I love chatting with her online and just like about chronic illnesses and because we're both going through it. So I feel you, girl, I feel you. So she said she sent me some, she runs a little free library and she decided to send me ones that she had an overflow of. Um, and then she said she made me some, some um, handmade things, which is so cute. So, here I am going to open them. Let's do the little goodies I see first. Oh my gosh. This is the little notebook. It's a little mermaid one. Be a mermaid and make waves. So cute. I'm obviously really into the little mermaid right now because of the live action coming out. Like that looks amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I don't wanna, if it's like ruining the packaging, I am so sorry, Maya. This is like the only way I can think of to open it is to remove this sticker. Oh, it's a pin. Oh, wow, okay. Apparently it's a pin from The Poppy War, which I have never read before, but this pin is gorgeous with, I assume, a quote from there. 
but like look how stunning that little pin is i love her little like packaging on here look at this it's a fish sticker so cute oh my goodness there's a bunch of little goodies in here okay so i don't know which ones maya actually made but um i don't know if she made these or what but these are super cute. I assume these go on necklaces because there's two chains here. There's a silver one and a black chain, but there are these little things that I can put on it. So first there's this wolf here, then this little silhouette with flowers. This one looks like waves to me. And then this one's really cute. We have a book stack. That's so cute. I love jewelry. So this was spot on. And she, she's like spoiling me. Why you don't have to send me all this stuff. You are so sweet. Okay, so this next thing is some bookmarks that I believe Maya printed and laminated herself. If she has an Etsy store, she needs to have an Etsy store, girl. Um, if you're making these, I need to figure out if you do because that's so cute. Um, but she said um, one of these is not uh, for resale because they're from different authors. So I'll, I'll show in a second. But I believe she made all of these, which is so cute. This is a beach read one. It says, if you think the story has a sad ending, it's because it's not over yet from beach read. Okay, I'm gonna cover up a word. I'm trying to keep my channel as PG as possible because I might be a teacher later on in life. But um, this one, I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can assume what word that is. Um, but also there's these fun prints. I forgot to show. There's fun prints on the back too. There is this one from An I Just Surrendered by Tessa Dare. Oh, we're getting to my Ruby Dixon ones. We have this one from Barbarian Lover with a snowflake on the back. Okay, so this is the one that is not for like resale because it's a collection of like other people's artwork. So Maya's obviously not going to be selling these because they're other people's work, but it's a collage of IPB drawings from other people. She has, has on her list, I'll put it in the description if I remember, please remember future Avery. Um, there is like a list she gave me of all the artists that are on this bookmark, but like how thoughtful. She knows how much I love IPB. <laughs> okay, Maya, you need to tell me the stuff that you made. I don't know if you made everything, like what is going on? <laughs> Cause I want to shout you out for all the things that, well you, I'm shouting you out right now because you're amazing and sending me all this stuff. But like, I need to know what you made cause I'm also curious. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are these rings. They're so cute. Definitely things that I would wear. So this one has, it's like a leaf one. This one's so cute. It says happy. If you can't tell, I love wearing, wearing rings. Um, and this one's just cute. It gives me twilight vibes like rings that Bella would wear in Twilight. I love that. So here are a bunch of stickers. I don't think I'll go through them all just because it looks like there's a bunch in here. Oh my word. Here's like two that I'll show you real fast, but <laughs> alien and an astronaut and this cute little van. And there's like a bunch on here, girl. Whoa, you're like spoiling me. Why? <laughs> Honestly, why? Thank you. We have some book plates in here that says they're from the library of blank. And I assume you put this in your books, which is so cool. Oh, cute. We have doggy iron on patches. Love that. Oh, cute. This is a little keychain squishy. I think it's a pig. Oh my goodness. Are these hair clips? That is so cute. <gasps> okay. These are all hair clips. Look, little hair clips. I love that. Look, it's a taco. The Sanders, San, Sanderson sisters, I believe. Look at all three of them. So cute, perfect for Halloween. And then, oh, probably my favorite is Jack and Sally. I love that. Cause I freaking love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that movie. Thank you, look how cute these are. I've never seen stuff like this. Oh, and these are more little pin, these are like safety pin pins. So we have the Canadian flag. That is so cute. That one fell off, but that's okay. I believe this is a Game of Thrones reference. Can correct me if I'm wrong. I love Game of Thrones. So I have a star and then a little, is that a little football with a bow? So cute. And those are all the little goodies. Oh my gosh, Maya, you are so sweet. And then I have some books here that I'm just gonna show y'all real fast. We have a Harlequin suspense called Undercover Protector. Let me know if any of these are good. I've never read a Harlequin Suspense and I think Maya and I were talking about that, uh, but I've never read. I've never read one of these. So I'm interested in trying one. Oh, yes. I love this book. This is How to Entice an Enchantress by Karen Hawkins. I love this book. 
I love Karen Hawkins. So if you haven't read this series yet, please do. Ooh, this one's called The Daring Duchess by Paula Marshall. I've never heard of this one, but look at that little clinch. This is a Harlequin Presents. This is bought for his convenience or pleasure. Bought. Well, we'll see what that means. But this is a Harlequin Presents by Maggie Cox. This is a Border Last by Amanda Scott. I assume a Highlander romance. I love Highlander romances. Harlequin Blaze. I think these ones are the hot ones. Um, by Kate Hoffman. This is The Mighty Quinn's Ian. She was telling me Harlequins were coming my way. So I was like, okay, yes. Um, this is Her Sweet Temptation by Nina Crespo. Harlequin Special Edition. Harlequin Romantic Suspense. Colton 911 Agent by Her Side by Deborah Fletcher Mello. Another Harlequin Presents is Promoted to His Princess by Jackie Ashenden. That one sounds intriguing. I love royalty romances. Ooh, this one sounds interesting. This is Sworn to Protect by Joe Davis. Sweet Revenge by Patricia Pellicane. Love a clinch, love a clinch. Ooh, My Wicked Little Lies by Victoria Alexander. Um, I own one Victoria Alexander so I can add one to my collection. And this one has a step back. Look at that. This one, stunning. This is Frontier Flame by Rochelle Wayne. Love it. Love a clinch, like I've said. Those are all the books in the box. Oh my word. Thank you so much, Maya. I'm gonna link her Instagram handle down below so you could go check her out. She was so sweet sending these books my way. I'm definitely going to be messaging her, sending her a huge thank you because that was so sweet of her. And then um, I'm going to go look up all the summaries of those books when we're done here because I wanna know what they're about. So we're gonna be talking about some more mass markets um, because I have yet to go through this box. And um, this one's from Samantha, from Books with Samantha. She, on a whim, I think I wanna say a month ago, was like, I'm sending you some books. And I was like, okay. And there are a lot of historicals. <laughs> and um, she is so sweet. I love her. So um, I thought I'd just show off the amazing books that she sent my way. And then I get to look into them more because like, I don't really look into or haul books on my shelves until I haul them in a video. And so that's what we're doing here. We're gonna haul them so I can finally look into them and put them on my shelves. And I'm really excited. So I've never owned a Julie Ann Long. So Samantha sent me, I'm only wicked with you. Um, I have to see for all these books, what number in a series they are. But this looks so good. I've heard amazing things about Julianne Long. I've heard like Justin talk about her a lot and my friend Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings and also Justin's from Justin Reads Romance, obviously, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, these are all books. Samantha was like, I have too many historicals here. I'll send you these. I was like, okay, so that was so nice. This one is Venus by Jane Feather. Also, if you've read any of the books that I'm talking about in this video, please let me know and tell me which ones I should prioritize. Cause like the ones that I've hauled so far all the books that I've talked about in this video so far, I've not read yet. And Eloisa James, a duke of her own. I own a few Eloisa James, but I didn't own this one yet. A Sophie Jordan I didn't own yet either is The Scandal of It All. I'm gonna quit saying one I didn't own yet because I didn't own any of these historicals. And Samantha was even like, I checked your historical romance collection video to make sure you didn't have any of these. So hopefully you actually didn't. So you're right, Samantha. I did not own any of these. So you did an amazing job. A Loretta Chase, she sent me as 10 things I hate about the Duke. I assume this is like a newer release of hers because of how newer the cover looks. But I know that people love Loretta Chase. I need to get into her books too. Look how stunning this cover is, y'all. This is Lost Love, Last Love by Rosemary Rogers. Like, look at that beautiful so beautiful i need to look at all these summaries because like i need to get back into my historical game i do next is only mine by elizabeth lowell we have like a shiny lettering and then this step back that 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 looked hot that step back looked hot so <laughs> um next is laura can sail flowers from the storm I've heard people talk about this, so um, not very new to me, but I didn't own it, obviously. It has one of those faux, faux step backs, but um, man, this book is a chunker. It's one of my chunkiest historicals. I did not own The Raquel of Roth by Emily Howard. I own book one, but I have never read book two, so this was like such a surprise to get this in this box because I've been wanting to read this, and I was like, perfect. I don't own a copy. Thank you, Samantha, for literally this whole box. I have read A Merry Wine, but I've never heard of this book. This is Wicked Highland Ways. I'm, I'm still, I don't know what else to say other than like, I love you, Samantha, so. <laughs> a Julia Quinn, 10 Things I Love About You. This is actually my first Julia Quinn. <laughs> I've read 
all but one of the books in the Bridgerton series and this is the first one I own physically and this is not a Bridgerton book. This is my first Julia Quinn book. So um, thank you for, for sparking my Julia Quinn collection. I just haven't collected the Bridgerton books because I don't want any of the books with the stupid Netflix circle tag on the book cover that is not a sticker. Like it's on the cover printed on it. I don't want that on the cover. I don't. I don't need it. I don't want it. And so it's so hard to find Bridgerton books without the stupid Netflix circle on there. Like I don't want it. So that's why I don't own any of them yet. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on. Um, this is When a Duke Loves a Woman by Lorraine Heath. I know that people are obsessed with Lorraine Heath and I own a few of her books, but I haven't read any of them yet. And just like, look how stunning this dress is. Like the purple, like beautiful. I believe I, this is another Lorican sale. Yes. Um, I guess like the cover just looked different to me. So I didn't know if they were related, but yes, another Lorican sale. This is Shadow Heart. Look at the little bird on here. That's shimmery too. My second Shannon Drake. This is No Other Man. And this is the step back for this one. Look how cute. Can you not tell I love freaking clinch covers y'all? Like who doesn't, who doesn't love, if you don't love clinch covers, what is it like to be you? Because they're just beautiful to me, honestly. The last book that I have is a gem. She sent me this version of The Bride by Julie Garwood. Wow, girl. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. And it's pink too. Oh my goodness. Is it stained yellow? I didn't even notice that but the pages are yellow. I think it comes like that. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Samantha. I flippin' love you. I've already thanked her profusely for this box. Like I've mentioned it a bunch to her. Um, so this is just a video to show my appreciation for her to have this video clip in here um, because that was so sweet. She did not have to send me anything. And out of the goodness and kindness of her heart, she's like, here you go. I was like, okay, you're too nice. Thank you. Honestly, Carrie, Maya, and Samantha, thank you. You are the sweetest ever. Um, no one ever has to send me anything. It, I don't, I'm speechless. Like, I don't even know what else to say now. Like, just thank you. I'm going to go put away all my goodies and look up all of these books. And I will leave you with Lady Avery with my next two unboxings. Okay, it's the next day. Sorry for my state of disarray. Also, do you like my vampire cat shirt? <laughs> it's one of my favorite sleep shirts, but it's, it's getting to Halloween season, so. I gotta bring it out for videos. <laughs> so um, it's the next day, honestly, the next day. Um, and I did not expect to get the two packages that I was missing the next day. I thought this was gonna be like a week later thing, but no, here are the two packages. Um, and so we're gonna save the best for last, just because it's the one that I've been anticipating for almost a year. That is this one, we're gonna set it to the side. This one was a surprise because I didn't know that I was getting it. This is from Hello Lovely Box. I love Hello Lovely Box. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention that. Yes, we're in a bathroom. When you're filming at your parents' house with both your parents home, you gotta find a place that's quiet with six pets. So this is currently where we're filming my bathroom. So anyway, I was about to say, I love Hello Lovely Box and I was surprised to get this one in the mail. I just didn't think that I'd get this one from Hello Lovely um because i didn't necessarily sign up for it but they were so sweet and just sent it my way and so i am a rep for them my code is down below as well as a link to their site where you can get their boxes i love their boxes especially their trope of the month box is so cool every month they have like a specific book trope um an example would be like mafia they had a mafia one and um, you order the box and a mafia book comes to you, a specific one that has a exclusive cover that are always gorgeous. So I really recommend those. Um, but this is their, I think you say, you pronounce it as Tijin, Tijin, Tijan box. Um, I've never read from this author, so I'm really excited. But as you can see, kind of see the tape for it. This is Tijin on the bottom. I was trying not to show my address, sorry. But this is what the box looks like when I open it. I wonder what this big thing is right here. Ooh, it's a cup. Let's see. Yeah, Tijin is an author I've always wanted to look into. Her books are just huge and I have commitment, commitment issues with big books. So hopefully this box will give me like the push 
to finally read one of their books. So, oh my goodness, I love these kinds of cups. Look at that. It says get flocked <laughs> with Tijan. Tijan? Tijan? Man, I'm just gonna say Tijan so I don't have to just keep correcting myself the whole time. And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments because I want to know if I'm wrong or not. Um, I hate mispronouncing people's names because people mispronounce my name a lot because it's not the typical spelling way you spell Avery because it has an I-E at the end. And so um, I don't know why people think it's hard to pronounce, but it's anyway, so I totally get um, the feeling people get when their name is mispronounced. So please let me know if I ever mispronounce somebody's name because I want to know. Very kindly though. I have, I have feelings. <laughs> okay, this is the chapstick. I believe all Hello Lovely boxes come with an exclusive chapstick. So this one says, join us at the quail. What scent is this? This is a lemon drops and a victory. Cute. Let me see what this smells like. Ooh, that smells good. Mm. I have like so many of these and I'm a chapstick girly. And I love it. I love having like a billion of them in all my purses and <laughs> in bags and just around my room. I love it. Next is this little pouch. It says, oh, there's two different things on the side. Okay. One side says love, destiny, hope, bravery, strength. That's so cool. The other one says tacos, late nights, secrets, football forever. I love this. I love this. So cute. And it's kind of like a fuzzy feeling on the inside. I love that. I believe this is a Hello Lovely Box sticker. I love it. I collect stickers too. These are two cards in here that I believe are quote cards. This one says, there's nothing plain about you. I don't really know which way's up and which way's down for this, but this is from a book. This is from Anti Stepbrother by T. John. If you couldn't tell, I'm a grandmother and cannot read. My vision sucks. Um, this one says, I love you and want you to let me love you, and I want to make you mine. My woman, just mine, all mine. Enemies by T. John. This is the one that I've been looking into enemies and so here are the books. Wait, I think they might be the books for those quotes. So this might be perfect because this might have enemies in this box and that's the one that i've been wanting to read but let's see i don't want to get my hopes up oh my gosh their covers are just so cute yes okay 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 so these are gorgeous holy crap so this one is Step Brother by t john that is so cool because her silhouette is here with them oh my gosh i love that and then this one's enemies the one i was talking about this one's another one look the football player is a silhouette that's so cool. Look at all the detailing in this cover. I love it. So for anti stepbrother, it says he told me to settle. He asked what was wrong with me. He called me an easy target. That was within minutes when I first met Caden Banks. I labeled him an a-hole, but he was more than that. Arrogant, smug, alpha. He was also to die for gorgeous and my stepbrother's fraternity brother. Okay, yes, I was a little naive, a tad bit socially awkward and the smallest amount of stalker-ish, but if Caden Banks thought he could tell me what to do, he had another thing coming. I came to college with daydreams about being with my stepbrother, but what if I fell for the anti-stepbrother instead? She wants to be with her stepbrother but falls for her stepbrother's friend instead whoa okay and there's also like a flamingo silhouette on the back i don't know if you can tell but i assume maybe that's what that's what this is from okay and then enemies says stone reeves was my neighbor and i've hated him since sixth grade gorgeous and charismatic he became the town's football god while i became the town's invisible girl he went to a division one school for football while my father was fired by his father his team won the national championship while my mother died the same day whoa dude um he was a first round pick for the nfl while i made the worst decision of my life now i'm in texas trying to pick up the pieces of my life but stone is here stone is everywhere it doesn't matter that disaster has struck my life again it doesn't matter that he's the one trying to console me it doesn't matter that he's the nation's sweetest football obsession because for me he's always been and always will be my enemy this one takes place in texas texas girly here so i love that and this one has a turtle on the back <laughs> I don't know what the animals mean on here, but that's cute. I'm so obsessed with this. If you want to check out Hello Lovely Box, please 
check out the link down below with my discount code. And then you can get like exclusive author boxes like this. I've gotten their Gianna Darling box, which was amazing too. I know they have a other few, but um, this was so amazing and really, 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 really makes me want to pick up these books now because these are just stunning covers. So thank you so much, Hello Lovely Box, for sending that my way. I really, really, really appreciate it. This is what I have been waiting for. So let's, let's dive in. I've seen people's unboxings of this on their Instagram stories and I keep having to, to skip through because I do not want to be spoiled. Um, even though I, I have already spoiled myself a little bit, it's okay, it's okay. And I normally don't care about spoilers. Um, this is the one time where I kind of wanted to be surprised. So now it is in this box. They wrapped these puppies up good. If you know me and my channel and what book subscription box just came out and what everyone's getting now, you know what this is and what I have been dying to get. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It looks so good. <laughs> Oh my word. I love how amazing they wrapped these, I will say. Because if these were damaged, I would have thrown a hissy fit. Y'all, holy crap. This is my first time buying from this company. This is from Fay Crate. This is the Rape Kings exclusive covers. So, it's it's Radiance, my baby. It's Radiance and Eidolon. Let me take off the wrapping, but I'll like show you a 360 of the box. Ooh, the box is a little bent, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world, Avery. You're good. This is the box. Look, it's Ildico and Brishin. My babies. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can see a little dent here. Maybe you can. It's okay. As long as the babies inside are okay, we're good. It's just the box. Y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> I've been like checking my email every day to get updates about these books because like I've been waiting for them for months for months Radiance is my favorite romance book of all time so when this announcement for this box was dropped I had like over 10 people message me saying did you know about this did you know about this and um, I don't remember who it was but one of my friends was the first person to text me and I was like Yes, I'm buying that immediately, even though it's probably not in my budget. Um, but I don't care because this is a once in a lifetime thing and Radiance is literally my baby. They are stunning. So they have these iridescent chromatic edges to them that are just beautiful. Just look at this. Look at this. Just beautiful. There's the spine. Her hair goes all the way around. Look at that. I love the font they've chosen. It's beautiful. Let's open up this bad boy. Give me a minute. Give me, uh, give me a minute. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so hard because I want to hang this in my room so bad. But no, but I need the cover on the book. But like, look at that. Just revel in it. Oh my word. I could stare at this all day. Holy crap. Oh, and then it naked. Look at that. Y'all, the back says Prince of Night. If the other one says a woman of day, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> but like, look, look at it naked. I believe this is Brishin because during the day he can't be in the sunlight because it hurts his eyes. So they're, they're nocturnal creatures. And so he wears a hood sometimes if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And plus this back says Prince of Night, so and it's like shimmery look at the spine of course it is signed by the goddess herself i'm wondering like as i'm meeting grace draven <laughs> next year and i'm like do i bring these babies with me but they're already set like what do y'all do when you get exclusive versions of books like for example i also have a sophie lark one that i got from a hello lily box that came signed but i went to meet sophie lark in wonderlust i didn't bring the book with me because it was already signed but do do y'all do that do y'all like bring books that were signed from like boxes or something else to get re-signed. I'm curious. Cause like, it would have been like, it, it probably would be amazing for her to sign like these special editions also. That's, that's Radiance. Let me gently put the, the cover back on my baby. I'm gonna stare at this for forever, honestly. Let's put you, put you there. And this one is Eidolon, so number two. If you didn't prefer Radiance, if like Radiance was not your thing because you found it boring, because some people do, because it's not very plot driven, it's much more character driven, 
please pick up book two. Book two is full of politics and war and it's chocked full of plots. So check out book two. Let's let's open this bad boy up. Oh, yep, I was right because Iltico was on the front of this one. Anyway, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I could stare at this all day. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I gotta show you what it is. Oh, look at that. This artist did an amazing job. Oh, and he's holding her. I didn't even realize he was holding her. Oh, and you see his fangs. <gasps> yes, okay. We gotta, I'll look at it later. You know, this is what does save woman of a day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. And another iridescent, like it's iridescent purple with Eidolon and then the front with Ildico. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, but look at this. Look at this. They're looking at each other. And then when you... Look at that. Freaking stunning. Absolutely stunning. They need to do the Ippos King next. I need it. <laughs> I need it. But oh my gosh, these will be treasures for forever y'all. I'm gonna go stare at these books for a little bit because they're just so gorgeous and like I want to hang I want to hang those art pieces up on my wall. I wonder if I can like contact the author and get those art pieces down on the dust jacket like as a separate thing to like buy because like I want that in my room like a giant poster of that in my room. Um <laughs> Anyway, sorry for this chaotic video of jumping clips and me looking like a hot mess express, but you know what? I am happy. I am happy. <laughs> thank you all so, so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And thank you so much if you sent anything to me. You are amazing and so sweet. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.